everyone. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So I am doing this live it is my very first time doing instagram live i've done facebook live before but not instagram so my very first live hey rosie how are you i am doing my first instagram live and i figure what best way to start it off with my seven day detox challenge so this week i have decided both myself and my team we decided to do a seven day challenge so what we are doing is we are doing the challenge where we're doing no sodas no bread, no red meat, no alcohol, no pasta, and no sweets. I know we can do that. I'm doing great. Thank you. So that is our challenge this week. And I know we can do it. Like, come on, for seven days, no soda, no bread, no pasta, no red meat, no alcohol, and no sweets, no bread. We can definitely do that. Yes, no alcohol. <laughs> I know that's the question that I get asked a lot. No alcohol. Of course we can do that. Definitely. Just do some sparkling water. <laughs> but we definitely can do that. What we're doing instead, though, you know, we are incorporating, replacing those things i know you know people are saying no bread or no pasta so what i'm gonna eat we have so many alternatives we're gonna do green things green vegetables so some of the things that we can do we can do cabbage yep we can do cabbage we can do spinach definitely can do spinach we can do lettuce everyone should be eating salads even though i know you are all taking your nutriburst where you're you know it's equi one tablespoon is equivalent to 10 salads but you can actually <laughs> eat salad what happened rosie <laughs> which one you don't like you don't like the cabbage or the spinach i love them all how about broccoli there's so many different ways that you can make those green leafy vegetables those green vegetables so those are some things that we're going to incorporate this week and then also <laughs> you're rather the nutriverse yeah well i mean you do the nutriverse but also you know just have some salad have some salad with your chicken breast Hey, Sadie, you can definitely add some salad. So some of the things that we're going to do, we're going to do chicken, we're going to do fish, and we can also do vegan alternatives. Like I got, I found, like I got some vegan stuff in my freezer. See, I got Chipotle Georgia style chicken and wings. <laughs> it's vegan. So you can use that as a, um, as a meat alternative, no red meat. And then I have beefless strips and you can do that see that nice beautiful picture with the broccoli so you can incorporate um the beefless strips with the broccoli and make a nice dish so those are probably <laughs> no it doesn't have freezer burn because i use them <laughs> so we're gonna do citrus fruits you see i'm about to go have me an orange so we're going to do citrus fruits and we're going to do our green vegetables. We're going to do fish, chicken, and um, vegan alternatives to protein. And definitely at least six or more bottles of water per day. 
I have me my gallon bottle. I need to be drinking because it's 10 o'clock already and mine is just at 9 o'clock. So, um, yeah. What said he said? Morning. Man would stay in the freezer forever. No, don't let it stay in the freezer forever. You know what? It Do it. Try it this week. Because that's the thing. Like, I, I usually buy them, especially the Morning Star brand. Anytime Publix have them, buy one, get one. I always buy them. And then they're there. But, you know, from time to time, I make a meal with it. And everybody in the house love it. So, I use them. Um, they they have the chick the chicken one. They have different ones. I make sure I buy ones that you know sounds good that we're gonna you know that we may that we're gonna eat, so they won't have freezer burn on it. So all the ones that I have in the freezer, they're gonna be used this week. <laughs> all right, Rosie, you got your half a gallon ready to go. That's it, and that's the spirit. You know, we gotta. This is the thing when it comes on to when we are doing things, we got to make goals. We got to plan because if we don't plan ahead, that's when we are setting ourselves up for failure. So if you know, like you're doing the challenge and you know, okay, I'm doing this challenge. I can't have any soda. I can't have any bread. I can't have any red meat. I can't have any alcohol. I can't have any pasta. I can't have any sweets. So what I'm going to have instead, I'm going to have citrus fruits. So you're going to make sure that you have some oranges and you have some other citrus fruits in your house. You know that you can have um, green vegetables. So you know you're going to make sure that you get some broccoli in the house. You get some cabbage in the house. You get some lettuce in the house. You get some spinach in the house those are the things that you're going to make sure that you get in the house so that you don't fall into the situation where oh man i don't have any green stuff in the house i don't have any citric stuff in the house i only have red meat i don't have any chicken i don't have any fish no you want to make sure that you have the things that you need so you don't fall into going for the sodas going for the bread going for the red meat you know uh, just put the alcohol in the cupboard away <laughs> for this week so that it's not, it's not, um, you know, it's not there saying, grab me, grab me, grab me. Yes, you got to go grocery shopping, Rosie. Run to Aldi's real quick after work or on your lunch break and grab some food. <laughs> hey, Rashida. <laughs> so definitely, we can do this. I mean, seven days of sacrificing this. This is for our health. And our wellness and while we're doing this we're definitely detoxing we are including um, like for me I every night well Sunday nights I make the brew tea this tea right here you can't sleep on this tea with this tea you're gonna get nine natural herbs nine natural herbs in this one bag of tea it's two tea bags in this one bag and it and it makes a gallon it has Promissian leaves, holy twistle, malva leaves, marshmallow, blessed um, twistle, papaya, myrrh, chamomile, and ginger. Those nine herbs in those two tea bags. And you're going to brew it. I did mine overnight. I, I let it, I, I brew it and let it see, steep overnight. And then this morning, I add it to the remainder of my gallon and see i have my brew tea so this is for the week so you do two cups of that per day so what i do in the afternoon i do one cup and then in the evening i do another cup and i add one of the instant tea to it so i either do the regular instant this is the regular instant detox arm um, tea or I do the lemon full spectrum um, instant tea or I do the raspberry lemonade broad spectrum with 0% THC. So I either do any one of those in my um, brew tea and I tell you the next morning you will have an awesome detox. So could you just imagine combining all those together? with this seven day challenge of no soda no bread no red meat no alcohol no pasta and no sweet you definitely will be getting a nice seven day detoxing 
of your entire system, your intestines, your liver, that will definitely be good. So let's do this. Yes, that's exactly what you'll be doing, Rosie. <laughs> but we can definitely do this. And while we're doing this, so guys, schedule some time for self-care. Self-care is very import important. Self-care and personal development time. Self-care can be anywhere from... Um, Time in nature. I know, you know, now is not the best time to be out, um, you know, in the road with everyone. But hey, <laughs> hey, gifts from Jada. <laughs> but um, definitely schedule some self time. Schedule some time, even just to sit in your backyard, um, you know, meditate, reflect, um, you know some personal time with God, just anything, some pet therapy, um, organized stuff, like make it a day where you're organizing different stuff. Yesterday was my organizing day. My daughter was with her aunt and I took it as a day to just get some stuff done. I was here, I was playing my music, I was singing, I was dancing and I was cleaning and I was organizing. So I mean anything. And also say no. You know, we are always saying yes, 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 yes to different things. You can say no. Sometimes you can definitely say no. So practice saying no and sleep. That's one thing that I got to learn. This week I said I'm going to try to get at least six hours of sleep per day. Because me, honestly, most of the times I'm getting probably about three or four. Because I work until midnight. And then when I get off of work, my body, I just don't fall asleep right away. So sometimes like two, three o'clock I'm going to bed. And then I'm up back about six or seven, you know, so I can get my daughter in her Zoom classes. So sleep, sleep is self-care. It's taking care of yourself. Your body needs sleep. So definitely, that's something that for me, that's one of my goals this week is to get at least six. I know eight is the best, but at least six. If I get six, six is, six is my goal. And that's a good goal for me coming from someone that's, usually only getting about three or four hours of sleep so self-care is very important um let me see i have a question when do you think is the best time to drink the tea morning or night so um if it's the brew tea you do two cups a day so i mean you can do it in the morning and in the evening or you can do it in the afternoon and in the evening for the instant ones, like the regular instant, the lemon, or the raspberry, you do, you do this 30 minutes before a meal, either before breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, so it all depends on your scheduling too. Because like for me, I personally, the instant one, I don't add it, I, I do that in the evening, before dinner with my brood, because I know my work schedule is four to midnight. So I don't want if I do it in the if I do it in the morning or do it in the afternoon before midnight I want to use the bathroom. So I don't want to be using any patient's bathroom or anything like that while I'm on the road. So I tend to do mine in the evening so that um you know when I'm when I wake up in the morning that's when my intestines you know is emptying. So that's when I do mine. So it all depends on your schedule, how you want to do it. And then also the good thing about the, if you're doing the instant, um, the ones with the CBD, the good thing about it, if you do it in the evening, you know, it helps you with sleep too. You know, it gives you that calming effect and help you with a good night's sleep. So I know a lot of people, they like to do that in the evening or before they go to bed or something along that line. So you can do it then too. But like for the brew tea, you do the brew tea, you can do it with your meal. Unlike the instant that you do it 30 minutes before you, your meal, because the instance, they have the dextrin in there, which is a fiber that's going to, you know, help put in a little, let you feel full before you start eating so that's why the recommendation is 30 minutes before you eat a meal so that by the time you're ready to eat that meal if you had a big plate of food ready to eat you won't finish all that food because you will feel full quicker 
Yeah, Rosie said that she likes hers in the morning, personal preference. Yeah, that's the thing. Different people like it different ways and different times. And you can do it hot or cold. Like me personally, if I'm drink, I, I don't really drink hot tea that much other than if I'm drinking hot tea, I want it, it's going to be like some Milo tea or um, some hot chocolate. But... Um, this tea once in a blue moon i'll try it hot but it's easier for me to just pour you know pour it in a cup or pour it in my shaker cold and drink it just get it over with and done <laughs> rosa said cbd helps me with my mental clarity through the day definitely exactly so like when you take it you know in the morning as you said, you know, like for someone that's working like a nine to five or eight to four, eight to five, you know, you take it in the morning. It helps you with that mental clarity throughout the day. Um, not only that, also, if you um, with the energy, the energy is another thing that helps with mental clarity. This right here, it's a capsule and this one capsule, it gives you energy. You see all those energy things on there. So if you're a person that loves the um you know the five hour energy or the red bulls or those energy drinks if you have one of this this will give you that energy without the jitters or without the crash it won't send you crashing at the end like when i do my doubles like this coming weekend um the sunday i'm doing a double this is my best friend my energy because it's gonna between my energy and my nutri burst these two together it's going to give me the energy to go through that 16 hour shift. And then at the end of the day, when I'm finished, I'm not going to like crash. I can still, you know, do laundry because that's most of the time what I end up doing. Like, because I know that I'm going to be off Monday anyways. So when I finish my 16 hour shift, then I start doing laundry. You know, it doesn't send you that crash. It's just that when you go to sleep, you go to sleep. But this energy is good. So not only is it going to give you energy, it gives you mental clarity. And just one capsule burns 300 calories. Like if you're someone that does a 9 to 5 and you sit at your desk, um, you know, every day and you're not moving around, you don't get to exercise or anything. Not saying that exercising isn't good because you definitely need to exercise. But this one capsule burns 300 calories automatically without doing anything and it's a fat burner this is what's gonna burn fat because this combined with the resolution drops and the brew tea that's what we call that, that that's our fat burner kit so that will definitely help you um yes i love the energy pill for the energy and the burn the extra fat yep definitely i put it in my breakfast smoothie along with my cbd tea and yes that's that's good i don't know if you guys have seen um the the smoothies that i post sometimes me and my sister we do, you know we do it in the mornings um where we combine um ginger uh oh i just have a brain fart <laughs> we combine ginger we do the cbd one of the cbd tea we um you know sometimes i do i open one of my nrg um capsules i open one of the chaga this is an immune system support i give this i take this and i also give it to my daughter you know in this time we definitely need support for our immune system so i take this too so those things i open in my capsule i mean i open i do the smoothie um i do blue blue blueberry raspberry you know that berry mix um and sometimes i use my tea my brew tea as the base instead of instead of adding um water with ginger and turmeric that's what i'm looking for and lemon and i tell you that makes an awesome fat burner energy boosting immune system boosting everything in one um smoothie you guys should try it it's really good but yeah so these are just some of the things you know so as i said this week we are doing the seven day detox um detox challenge where we are detoxing our system you know our liver our intestines and we are going to do this we are doing it 
with the products or whatever you have that you detox you can definitely do that and then we are doing no soda no bread no red meat no alcohol no pasta and no sweets and then we are incorporating citrus fruits daily green vegetables fish chicken or vegan alternative six or more bottles of water daily and 30 minutes of workout we definitely can't forget the workout because we got to get the body moving. You know, that's how you're going to burn fat. That's how you're going to. So let's get the body moving 30 minutes, whether it's the home video workouts, go for walking or something along that line. Like this week, my goal is to at least do um, 10,000 steps for this week. And then my daughter, I charge up her Fitbit because I know with her home also, I give her the detox, the brew tea. I give her the Nutriburst and I give her the Chaga. So I, I want her to be healthy too, you know. Whatever she see me doing, she, you know, she also wants to do it too. So that's a good thing, you know. Kids do what they see their parents do. So if you eat healthy, they want to eat healthy also. Because now she wants her salad. She wants all of her healthy stuff. So when, you know, sometimes I forget to give her a Nutriburst and she wants her Nutriburst. So when kids see you do healthy things, they will do it too. So if you cut out the soda, they don't, they, you know, and if you don't, it's not something in the, out, in the house, they won't want it too. Because like my house, we don't have soda in there. And for that, my daughter don't drink soda. Unless when she goes out, <laughs> she'll probably ask for a Sprite. But when you don't have the things in the house... The kids won't want those things. So if you don't have the bread, they're not going to ask for the bread. She'll, she'll get up in the morning and she'll ask me for a spinach omelet. Yes. Sometimes I, I'm feeling lazy and I'm like, I got to go chop up the spinach. I got to go do this. I got to go do that. But what can I do? She's asking for something healthy. So why not? So when you have healthy things in the house, the kids will. Because you're the parent. I mean, you can't let the kids rule you and tell you what they want and what they don't want. So if you have those things in the house that and you cook those things, those are the things that they're going to eat. Um, so let's do this. We can definitely do this. No soda, no bread, no red meat, no alcohol, no pasta, no sweets. And then we're going to have our citrus fruits. Yes, we're going to have our green vegetables. Yes. And we are going to eat our fish, chicken, or our vegan alternatives. Yes, for protein. And we're going to do our six bottles of water or more, like my gallon. Yes, we're going to do that. And we're going to incorporate 30 minutes of exercise. That's our goal for this week. So let's do it. And we're definitely going to schedule some time for self-care and some personal development time. So guys, we can do this. Let's do it. Let's be each other's accountability partner. So what I want to do is every day this week, even if it's for one minute, just do a quick check-in to see how everyone is doing to see, you know, what are your challenges um, in this challenge and what we can do to help each other. So I hope you all have a wonderful day, a productive day and a wonderful, productive week. So thank you for joining. I love you all. Bye.